Joe Buck is one of the most recognizable sports broadcasters in the industry, known for his smooth delivery and encyclopedic knowledge of sports. However, beyond his on-air persona, Joe Buck also leads a fascinating lifestyle that includes a love of golf, a passion for music, and a deep commitment to philanthropy. In this video, we will explore the many facets of Joe Buck's lifestyle and get an inside look at the man behind the microphone. Joe is currently married to Michelle Beisner, a former Broncos cheerleader and present reporter for NFL Network and ESPN. The couple tied the knot on April 12, 2014, and they are proud parents to twin boys, Wyatt Joseph and Blake Andrew, born on April 26, 2018, a day after Joe's 49th birthday. They currently reside together in Florida, and their marriage seems to be free from any controversy. Notably, the twins are Michelle's first children, but they are the third and fourth children for Joe. His previous marriage to Ann Archambault lasted almost 18 years, and together they had two daughters named Natalie Buck and Trudy Buck, before separating in 2011. It's worth mentioning that Joe and his daughter share a wonderful bond with their father, stepmother, and half-siblings. Trudy Buck attended USC and shared a room with Olivia Jade before the latter made headlines for the college admissions scandal. In contrast, Natalie studied telecom engineering at the University of Indiana, while Anne has since moved on and is now married to Scott Kitchell. House The mansion that had most of his family's memories as they resided in this honeymoon home for nearly seven years sold for $3.3 million, which he bought with Beisner during their engagement. The residence boasts an impressive double gable exterior with black-lined windows, an oculus window, and two dormer windows on the gray and red shingled roof. Upon entering the house, guests are welcome into a modest tiled and chandeliered entryway leading to the office, which features a slope barrel ceiling and built-in bookcases displaying footballs, awards, and memorabilia from Buck and Beisner's careers, including Buck's six Emmy Awards. The basement is also filled with mementos, including a Wayne Gretzky jersey, a John Schmoltz baseball jersey, football helmets, Budweiser neon signs, and framed sports photographs with a wet bar and a wine bar that can hold close to a thousand bottles. One of the most striking rooms in the house is a steeply pitched, sun-roofed family room with French doors that open onto a sloped, fenced lawn on six acres. The family room features a floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace, hardwood floors, and rustic wood furnishings, creating a casual yet elegant shabby chick aesthetic, according to Beisner. The estate also includes a child's playground, a pool, a built-in grill, and a cabana, complete with stone walls, a fireplace, a television, wrought iron chandeliers, wooden beams, and a steeply pitched roof. The kitchen is another standout space with stone countertops, a tan-tiled backsplash, a large island, hanging like fixtures, and a breakfast nook. The 340-square-foot owner suite is designed for two, with dual walk-in closets and a large bathroom with twin vanities. Overall, Joe Buck's stunning house is a testament to his successful career and his appreciation for fine living. Cars In addition to his beautiful house, Joe has a passion for luxury cars and enjoys spending his free time driving them. Among his collection, Buck owns some of the most prestigious brands in the market, including a Bentley Continental GT, which is at a $202,500 starting price, an Aston Martin DB11 with a $201,495 starting price, and a Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG with a $151,600 starting price. His collection is not only vast, but also filled with unique and luxurious vehicles that are sure to turn heads on the road. But not everything is nice cars and big houses in the sportscaster's life. Buck has experienced heavy criticism throughout his whole career. Criticism Joe has faced accusations of being biased towards certain players and teams by fans. Many believe that sports announcers should be impartial in their commentary, treating all parties equally. However, Joe has been criticized for showing favoritism towards individual players and teams on several occasions. Green Bay Packers fans even launched a petition in 2017 to get Joe and his friend Troy Aikman banned from announcing slash commentating on their games, accusing them of always subjecting their team to pessimistic scrutiny during commentary. The petition received more than 29,000 signatures, with many calling Joe boring and lacking intonation and emotion during crucial moments. Joe has always faced criticism for questioning the necessity of a military flyover during a game between the Packers and Buccaneers in early 2020 with only 15,000 fans in attendance. He suggested that taxpayers' money should not be spent on flyovers in such situations, facing accusations of being unpatriotic. However, it was later revealed that there was no additional cost to conduct the flyovers. In January 2023, during a game between the Bills and Bengals, Bills safety Damar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest. 
Joe's remarks that DeMar was forced to play within minutes have caused controversy and angered some NFL executives. Despite their denials, Joe has stood by his claim, with some calling his comments insensitive. Despite these controversies, Joe Buck remains a popular figure in the sports world with a distinctive voice and a wealth of experience. Net worth. When it comes to the world of sports, it's not just the athletes who rake in big bucks. Sportscasters and coaches can earn just as much or even more than some of the top players in the game. For example, Jim Rome is one of the highest paid sportscasters, earning a staggering $30 million annually, while Troy Aikman comes in second with an annual salary of about $18 million. Joe Buck, a well-known sportscaster, also sits high on the list of highest paid individuals in sports, earning an impressive $15 million annually a few years ago. His net worth as of February 2023 is estimated to be around $35 million. It's no wonder he's in such high demand, given his talent for calling NFL games. He reportedly earns between $667,000 to $833,000 per game. In addition to his sportscasting work, Buck is also a brand endorser for popular companies like Holiday Inn, Budweiser, and National Car Rental. These lucrative endorsement deals help to further boost his already impressive net worth. All in all, it's clear that Joe Buck has worked hard to establish himself as one of the most successful and highest paid sportscasters in the industry. However, some people might think that Buck is extremely overpaid, but the truth is, he worked very hard to get to where he is today. Career Peak Buck began his career as a play-by-play -play announcer with Tim Green as his color analyst on Fox's fourth NFL broadcast team. After working as an analyst for many years, he was promoted to become Fox's main play-by-play -play announcer in 2002. Buck also hosted several shows, including Fox's pregame show, Fox NFL Sunday, and the postgame show for the network's doubleheader games on August 14, 2006. Additionally, he hosted a series on HBO called Joe Buck Live, which was canceled after only three episodes, with two more episodes airing in 2009. Buck later told the St. Louis radio station in March 2010 that he would not miss the show and that it was more difficult than he had anticipated. In 2022, Buck and his fellow Fox broadcaster, Troy Aikman, signed multi-year agreements to become the new voices for Monday Night Football on ESPN after having worked together for 20 years at Fox. Buck admitted to feeling awkward watching Fox broadcast Super Bowl 57 without him on February 17, 2023, as it was the first Super Bowl since 2002 that he had not been on the call. During this time, he was on ESPN Radio New York to remember his former broadcast partner, Tim McCarver. Now that you know more about Joe Buck's net worth, endorsements, what are your thoughts on the controversy surrounding Joe Buck? Do you think the criticisms are valid or unwarranted? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and... Thanks so much for watching.